Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is pretty awesome news. Looks like we have the updated big picture mode working on Windows now, and this should work for other handhelds, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But right now I have Windows installed on my Steam Deck. This is a WinDeck. What you're gonna do is install the latest beta, and we'll go through this step by step on another handheld. You're gonna go to properties here, and the only thing you wanna wanna add to this is at the end is gamepad UI at the end. You can see it right there, dash gamepad UI. And then when we run that, it loads into an interface that is just like the Steam Deck. And at this point, the QAM quick access menu button actually works, which is super cool to see. So we'll go ahead and let this log in. And there we are. <laughs> How awesome is that? So again, we can press the quick access menu button here and it brings up everything just as usual, but we don't have the same type of Fun uh, feature and functionality that the Steam Deck has. We just have this show FPS and corner, which has been available on Steam forever. So uh, I will be making a definitive Windeck guide, especially how to get 40 hertz mode working on Windows side. Uh, my particular tweaks on getting everything working. There's also going to be a TDP management tool that we can use that will hopefully be able to kind of subsidize what's going on here. It'll be interesting if the plugin manager tool could actually be tapped in in this particular area because that would be sweet. So let's just see what it would look like with the default FPS stuff. Now, again, this is going to be stock TDP, so I'm not going to be able to have any changes here in any particular manner. Although, to really get good performance in Uncharted, we're going to have to push it to the max anyway. All right, so we can see that the little FPS counter is working. And again, that's always been built into Steam for a long time now, so it's not like it's something new. Oh, wow, look at that. So even the Steam button works as it would work in Steam as well. That's so much nicer. This makes Windex so much better. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, and just so you can know, like Steam and X does bring up the keyboard. Super cool to see. So if I just touch the search bar button and tippity tapped over here. <laughs> look at that. So cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at this on other handouts. All right, so here we are on the GPD Win Max. Let's go ahead and go into Steam. Now, what you're going to have to do, I'm doing this from scratch, so we're just going to go to Settings, and then we're going to go to Beta. We're going to opt into the latest beta, which we need to do. So we got it there. Click OK. Say Restart Steam. All right, so I've recreated a shortcut because I've deleted it. And we're going to right-click here. We're going to go to Properties. And then at the end, let me move my mouse away. We did Gamepad UI. Go ahead and click Apply down here. Okay. Now, technically, that's just to jump straight into uh, big picture mode. I would wager that if we just selected this bucket button right here, will it? No, it does old. Okay, so you do need to have the gamepad UI thing there. Let me go ahead and switch over to gamepad mode. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so we have this, which is interesting. Now, what happens if I press the menu button? Okay, the menu button. So this would be the Xbox button. Uh, like, if you pressed Xbox on an Xbox controller, so that brings up what would be the Steam button. Super cool. So now we can just press the menu button. Very nice. Super cool. We have Steam Deck UI in Windows. This is huge for people that wanted to run Windex. So now you have the capability to you know, run the new Modern Warfare on Steam and have a sensible control layout. This is so awesome. Again, stay tuned for my Windex video, which should be out pretty soon now. I feel a little bit more charged to actually get it out done. And what the benefit of that is TDP, uh, 40 hertz mode enabling on the Windows side. Uh, you can also do other things like 48 hertz and other different frequencies. So we'll touch base on that and be able to be able to switch that easily. As always, guys, thanks for your time and thanks for watching.